We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life. This is our adventure. This is Curiosity Inc. Hey, good morning, everybody. So today is my day off. And uh, it's Monday, we're closed on Mondays. I should say it's not really my day off, it's just the day that I'm not at the shop. I still have a lot of running around to do today. So on my list of things to do today is uh, drop off some rims to get sandblasted for my old race car. Um, they're gonna paint them as well. We have to uh, drop off some stuff to an auction, um, redoing the upstairs in the store, and uh, following a lead, and uh, going to a lady's house and hopefully buying some antiques today. So before I uh, head over to her place, so I'm gonna stop for lunch and uh, I have a place in mind somewhere that my wife will not go with me. Uh, so I have to go there by myself. So I'm gonna stop, grab a bite to eat and uh, then head back on the road. That's right, my wife cannot stand fish. I like it, but I have to sneak out like a criminal and basically um, <laughs> get it like I'm buying uh, illicit uh, drugs or something from someone. So. Um, today I snuck out and I got myself fish for lunch, so I'm off now to uh, the house to see what kind of antiques I can find. Hopefully something cool. Um, I've got the uh, back of the vehicle pretty much emptied out here, so in case I find something. So yeah, we'll go see what there is. Okay, so I'm all loaded up. I uh, just have to get back to the shop and unload everything there. And I'll show you guys what I got. So some pretty cool stuff, at least I think so. I can <laughs> hear some of it rattling around back there right now. So let me get back to the shop, unload, and show you what we found. So I think I picked out some pretty neat pieces. Um, like I said, you never know what you're gonna find when you go out on an adventure like this, but uh, let me show you what I got. So one of the main things I went to look at were these two lovely wooden uh, wall clocks, massive pendulums, key wound. Uh, of course, there's the, uh, the ornate uh, decorative top for this clock here. So it's not broken, it's just you take them off when you ship them, so. Um, really nice piece, should display well in somebody's home, so two cool old clocks. Then we start going through the bin. Uh, the obvious cool big piece in here. This lamp isn't terribly old, um, it's Japanese made for a Japanese ship, but it is in nice condition, it is an actual nautical piece, and uh, it's super cool, it's a good size, I can tell the portion of that, it's nice and big, so cool decorative piece. Some sleigh bells that would have been mounted on a carriage or sleigh so they've been polished up but still really cool solid brass compass so really neat decorative sort of item here but um, you know that stuff sells also got a few antique books uh, from the 1800s so this one is Woodworth the orphan school 1886 and let's see if we look at it it's the poetical works of Wordsworth This was given to the master of an orphanage at some point back in the 1800s. Kind of got some cool history to it. The other books that are here. Um, this one is very early edition of um, Longfellow, his poetical works. Nicely bound, in nice condition. And this one will probably be a little bit more of local interest around here. The Successful Stockman uh, and Manual of Husbandry. <laughs> So this is basically um, how to care for and look after animals. And it's an anatomical book with all these different sort of cutaways for horses. There's some for cows and pigs and things in here too. So really, really cool book. Dates from the 1800s. And uh, old medical books and anatomical books are very interesting. This one being animals is super cool. Last but not least, and probably the uh, few most important pieces that I bought out of this collection, were time pieces. So let me show you what they are and uh, talk about them a little bit. And I'm super excited to get them. Uh, they're gonna be fantastic in the store. So let me show you the first piece. 
So some of you watching that are into clocks and watches might recognize what this box is. If you don't, um, I'll open it up and show you. Um, one of the telltale markers right there is that it's Hamilton Watch Company. Hamilton, of course, being a maker of fantastic quality goods. They always say um, uh, Swiss for wrist and uh, American for pocket. Hamilton Watch Company is one of the premier makers of pocket watches back in the 19th and early 20th century. So this is a unique piece and let me show you why. And this, well, this is a ship's chronometer. So it has to be very, very accurate to be considered a chronometer. This again, made by Hamilton. It's set in the suspended mount so that uh, as the ship moves and rocks, the timepiece won't be disturbed. Uh, beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, honestly, just a work of art and a really wonderful piece of American nautical history and so glad that I found one today. They don't come up that often, so to get one that's intact in its box is uh, kind of an amazing thing. I'm gonna check and make sure it works too. And yes, if you can see the second hand moving there, this clock is in working condition. They're meant to actually work laying flat. Look at the thickness of this thing. I mean, this is a serious timepiece. So, so cool. And the other cool thing that I got was three antique pocket watches. So the first one, uh, and I'm gonna have to do a little bit of investigating on all three of these here, but I can tell this is a pair case. So it's um, a style of watch where the case actually opens up on it uh, and the watch itself is inside. Made by John Work around 1760, just a few years before the French Revolution, this watch was pure craftsmanship and is a wonderful reminder of the European artistry during the Age of Enlightenment and the Georgian reign. And who would have wanted an amazing watch like this? Well, these guys, or maybe this guy right here. This wouldn't have been a watch for just anybody. This was certainly a high-end piece and is fantastic today. Glad that I got it, and although missing a hand, it's in wonderful condition. That was one of the really unique pieces I got. Um, one of the others uh, was this beautiful, beautiful uh, pin set, pocket watch, solid gold case, uh, bright enamel finish, and looks to be in just lovely condition. And lastly, was another uh, quite old pocket watch. Um, it's a uh, center seconds chronograph, so it could have been used as a doctor's watch or something, but uh, this probably uh, not as high end as the other two watches, but still kind of neat. It's made by uh, Tell. And when we open up the back here, you can see the trademark, it's Keywind. So haven't tested this one to see if it works, but uh, it would have had a uh, second hand for the uh, chronograph movement on there. So uh, definitely a neat piece either way and uh, very early. So three super cool pocket watches, but very excited about these two. And of course that amazing ship's chronometer. So um, yeah, overall a pretty good haul. Lastly, I also got this really cool vintage cello. Um, it's more of a student's model, Czechoslovakian made, or Czech Republic now, that's it over there. Um, but uh, I was able to find and pick up a new uh, floating bridge and some strings to put on it, so I've got to do that uh, after the weekend here. But uh, yeah, you know what they say, there's always room for cello. So thanks so much for tuning in on another adventure. I hope you guys check back soon. And if you uh, haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. There's all sorts of videos coming, uh, whether it's product walkthroughs, little adventures like today, uh, checking through scrapyards, sometimes actually digging for treasure out in the woods. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. Um, so thanks very much for tuning in. Um, also, you can check us out online on our website at curiosityedmonton.ca or on Facebook or on Instagram as well. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.